Hi, this is Mike from the Excel Trainer, and in this short video, I explain how to enter basic calculations in Excel. Addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Let's start with this fuel calculator. I want to work out how much it costs me each week to travel to work and back. Now, I've already entered in to B3 and B4 the number of miles I travel to work and the number of miles that I travel back. Into B5, I need to put in the number of miles that I've traveled per day. Now, I could just type in 18 plus 18, but the whole point of a spreadsheet is that if the figures change, in this case, the distance to work or the distance to home, then I want the result in B5 to automatically update. And therefore, I need a formula. So into B5, I type in uh, an equal sign because in Excel, formulas always start with an equal sign. And then I put B3 plus B4 and press enter. You can see that we've got the result in B5 and in the formula bar, we've actually got the formula. Now, if I was to change the uh, distance to work to say 20 miles, maybe my company moved to a new location, it automatically updates the formula, put 20 in there as well, and the formula updates again. So if I change that back to 18 and that back to 18, you can see we're now back to 36 miles traveled per day. I also need to uh, calculate how many gallons I've used per day. Now, the reason I'm doing this, even though in the UK we price our fuel uh, in litres, most people who drive a car understand the uh, miles per gallon as opposed to the miles per litre. My car, for example, um, I can get about 35 to 36 miles per gallon. I don't know what that is in litres. To calculate the number of gallons used per day, I'm going to divide the number of miles that were travelled per day by the miles per gallon. So that will be an equal sign and it will be B5 divided by B7. Divided by symbol is the forward slash. Press enter. And the answer is one. So I've used one gallon per day. To calculate the cost of fuel per day, I need to take the gallons used per day, one gallon, multiply that by the cost per litre and multiply that by 4.55, which is the number of litres in a gallon. And this is a UK gallon and a UK litre. I think it's different in other parts of the world. So start with an equal sign and put B8, which is the gallons used per day, multiplied by B9, which is the cost per litre, multiplied by 4.55. So you can include static values in your formulas. And the multiplied by symbol you can see there is the asterisk. So it's costing me £6.37 per day. The maximum number of work days in a week is five. It may be that I only work four days a week. It may be that I work from home one day a week. So the maximum number of work days in a week is five. To calculate the maximum number of work days in a year, I would simply multiply uh, five by 52. And here I'll make the point that you need to know the calculation before you can put it into Excel. If you want to work out how many work days there are in a year, you need to know that calculation. Excel won't do that calculation for you. So as I say, I'm going to multiply five, which is in B12 by 52, which we know is the number of weeks in a year. Equal sign to start the formula. B12 multiplied by 52. I get eight national holidays. So there's eight days where I don't have to go into work. And those are our UK bank holidays. In other parts of the world, there may be a different number. And I get a vacation allowance of 25 days. So to work out the total number of work days in a year, it would be 260 minus eight minus 25. Or in Excel terms, 
it would be B13 minus B14 minus B15. It's 227. So I maximum number of days that I would travel to work and back is 227. The annual cost of the fuel would multiply the number of work days in B16 by the cost of fuel per day. Start with an equal sign and put B16 multiplied by B10 and press enter. The reason that that cell is formatted as currency is because I'd already applied currency format to that cell. To calculate the annual mileage, I would multiply the number of miles I travel per day by the number of days in a year. That would be B5 multiplied by B16. So that concludes our look at basic formulas.